Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to use Photoshop and show you a very simple and quick method to resizing and fitting your images into Photoshop without being forced to create a crop or add those ugly white margins. But before we do, I want to talk about the sponsor of this video. Yes, you guessed it right. It's Skillshare. Skillshare has tons of videos on all different aspects of photography. I highly recommend them. I've actually found that uh, How to Craft Stories That Matter by Keith to be an amazing set of videos to watch. I've learned a lot about how to capture stories in my images from this set of videos. It's a two-month free trial. The link is in the description. You could always delete uh, your account after that, but I highly recommend you guys check it out. There's tons of great content there. All right, so back to our uh, image. This image is a rectangle image, and I really love the composition of it. So forcing a crop is uncool. I'm going to show you how I'm going to stretch the image to be wider like that. It falls into the ratio that Instagram requires. The way I do that is to first add a canvas. Come over here to image, click canvas size, and over here I'm going to put in 22. You'll have to try different numbers until you find the right one. I hit OK and it adds a margin on both sides. Now I could post Instagram like this. I could post it, but I don't like that white edge on the sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to stretch out the image. We do that by using the marquee tool. M is the shortcut. Go ahead and make a selection up until the hair or the body part. Go ahead and hit Control T and then hold the shift button while you stretch out the image. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Take your marquee tool, make a selection up until a body part, hit Control T, and then shift and stretch. Now, obviously, this doesn't work for all images. Most of my images it works for because the I always have negative space on both sides of my subject. You can't use it for an, an image which is like this because you can't stretch out body parts. It's going to look... Um, very bad. So it obviously has to be the right image, um, but this is the way I found to do it. Now let me show you the exact ratio of this now. Usually when we shoot with our DSLR that's two by three, Instagram forces us to four, four by five. So I'm gonna hit C for crop tool, and over here you could choose different ratios. Go ahead and hit four, five, and now you could see how the image is Right now, four or five, and I still have my composition with the edges slightly stretched out. Most people um, won't notice this. In the f past five years that I've done this on Instagram, I've never got a single comment, hey, it looks like you stretched out the image. I've never had that issue before. So if right now maybe the chairs look misproportioned to you, it's only because you watched me do it. It obviously doesn't work for every single image, but this is my method on how I'm able to put my images onto Instagram without being forced to crop them. Once we're at it, let me show you how I resize and change the color space for optimum color and uh, sharpness for Instagram. I do this by hitting Control-Alt-I, and I try ch change the larger of the two numbers, which over here would be 8,000, switch the larger number to 2048, and hit Enter. I'm going to also change the color space into something that our cell phones and Instagram recognizes. Come over here to edit, convert to profile, and then over here, go to the top one, which is working RGB, sRGB. sRGB is what our screens on our phones recognize and Instagram. So when you give them an image like that, it's exactly the way you see it in Photoshop on your computer. Go ahead and hit OK, and there we have it, guys. I hope you found this helpful, and if you did, definitely leave a comment. Uh, you can follow, find me on Instagram. It's Danny Diamond Photography. Hope you guys have a great day.